Hey everybody, uh, just doing another uh, quick unboxing kind of thing. This is the uh, stabilizer, the uh, anti-vibration mount uh, that I got to mount my uh, flight controller, uh, the APM 2.6. Just got it from Amazon today. Um, I think it was with shipping and everything, it was like 12 bucks, something like that. Um, this is just to keep the vibration stuff from your quadcopter, whatever, away from your uh, your flight controller. Um, feels pretty sturdy for the pieces. I uh, really don't flex a whole lot. Uh, comes with these two uh, sticky pads that you would put on this to, to sticky mount your uh, flight controller, whatever you want, your APM, NAS, or whatever, uh, to it. I might do like some Velcro or something like that, I'm not sure because it already looks like the piece of paper on this one is sort of coming off. Um, so I might use something else. We'll see about that. It's got these uh, rubber spacers that just stick in all four corners here. Get those out. I saw a pretty neat idea. I've seen a few videos um, where people have actually had issues with these things actually coming out of the holes, the corners of these things. Um, and so I saw a guy the other day, um, what he did is there, you can see there's a hole right in the middle of that. Um, what the guy did is he actually ran a small little zip tie through the whole thing, through both the pieces and through the rubber grommet and everything. Um, just to make sure that if something did come loose um, on this, or you could do the same thing for your gimbal, um, if you're mounting like a GoPro or a camera or something, um, that way if, some, if you know if one of these did pop loose, um, you know it wouldn't completely fall to the ground, wouldn't come completely loose, it would still be at least attached, um, and you could get it back down. As you can see, I'm having some issues getting this thing started in here. I'll have to figure that out here a little bit later. Um, but it feels like it's pretty sturdy so far. Let's see if I can get this thing figured out here. So I have to admit, um, getting these things in here is actually a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, you can see they've got a little bit of a groove that this stuff, that it fits into here. Um, the best way I've found to do it um, is actually use a little bit of a pen, but to sort of start at an angle, and sort of try and pull some of it through just by rubbing on it. Um, try and get some of it through, twist it a little bit. You know, these things, it's a lot more of a pain in the butt than I expected. Um, but once you get a fair portion of it started, about half of it, sort of take a pen and shove the rest of it through. Um, it's, like I said, a lot more difficult than I expected. Um, Let's we'll see how it goes getting the top half on these things. Um, you just got to sort of shove it in there. Once you get a good portion of it started, get it twisted around, and you'll see it'll start to sit in there normally like it's supposed to. So uh, we'll see if I can get this top piece started on here, too. This ought to be interesting um, as well. Sort of try the same kind of process. Shove as much of it through as you can um, and just wind it around. So uh, you can see this thing's uh, a little bit difficult to put together. Um, see if I can figure out a better way to do this. Gets a little irritating, I have to be honest. So 
as you guys can see, uh, managed to get three out of the four in there so far. Um, it's a huge pain in the butt, I have to be honest. Um, I found actually a pair of forceps that I use at work. Um, I don't even have any ideas on the best way to do this. Um, you just gotta sort of take something in there and just start shoving it in there, mush it together, whatever you gotta do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's sort of a pain. Seems like every time you get part of it in there, it wants to come right back out. I'm um, stretching some of these pretty far. I, I hope that these things don't actually come apart or tear um, at some point in time. I'm guessing Nox hopefully don't have that much force on it at any point in time, but you never know. Um, so continuing to work on this is not very much fun. Um, this might be one of the more annoying parts of the build, actually, as I go along. Um, yeah, so I'll just keep working on this. and It's taking me a lot longer to put this darn thing together than I would have expected. So, yeah, there we go. All put together. Uh, hopefully, I should have. Yeah, I'll be able to. You'll be able to shift that off to the side. Be able to get to the screen mounts there. I just hope you can see how that's pretty far spread. Like I said, hopefully that doesn't tear or pop out or anything. I, I might try the zip tie thing, um, like I saw the guy did on the gimbal. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. It honestly makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm sure it's not going to have that much force on it. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of give, but and I'm sure it's got just enough to uh, dampen the vibrations from the quadcopter and whatever else. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. As uh, I get more parts, I will uh, continue to put up some videos and hopefully not bore everybody to death with uh, my quadcopter build. Thanks for watching.